If you want to have high championship standards for Notre Dame, I'm with you. Make them consistent, though. Make them consistent. I will never, ever understand the loyalty Brian Kelly gained from a large part of this fan base. I will never understand it in a million years. I will never, ever understand it or accept it. It's one thing to not recruit elitely and not win elitely. He also talked down to you every chance he got. He talked down to you every chance he got. And people accepted it. I cannot, I will never, ever be able to wrap my mind around it. If Brian Kelly went four and eight and was not recruiting elitely and and golfing instead of recruiting and all that, but he polished it all up nice and he kissed your Notre Dame fan Heine and he was nice to you and he played up to the crowd, then I can understand the weak-minded sheep in this fan base buying into it because at least the guy was telling you nice things. He never even did that. He never even did that, you guys. So I will forever be completely confused of why so many Notre Dame people blindly bought into a guy that did not get elite results, did not work as hard as you need to work to get elite results, and then talked down to you and told you you were pretty much dumb anytime you asked a question or wondered what was going on. I will. Ne- it is one of the biggest Notre Dame mysteries in my life, the loyalty that guy got, winning nothing and treating everybody like crap. Now Freeman's in here, the nicest guy in the world who's working his butt off. And if he's not perfect, run him out of town. Run him out of town. I can't understand it. Tell me, tell me what changed. Why do you have such a high standard now? And you didn't for Kelly. Again, if he treated you right, kissed your butt, built up the fans, was a nice guy, but not getting great results. I understand the weak-minded people will still like that. You didn't even get that. You didn't even get that. He got up there and didn't like the media asking any questions. Didn't told the, the, you know, the fans don't know what they're talking about. We're shopping down a different aisle. You know, 10 and 2 is good. I wish we would get credit from our people instead of them asking why we're not undefeated. Bro! I'll never understand it. The guy wasn't even nice. He wasn't even nice. Not elite, not a hard worker, not nice. And people bought in. I'll never understand it. I'll never understand it in a million years. John, you should be exiled out of the fan base. You are not being respectful of Kelly and you need to bow down at the altar of Kelly and it's the best since Lou. Four and eight's fine. He'll get it right. You don't get to go four and eight your seventh year at Notre Dame. That is a red flag across the board. That means you're failing at everything. When you go four and eight in your seventh year, it means the program you built is garbage. It means you messed it all up. It means you don't have talent. It means you don't have coaching. It means you don't have a vision. It means you you the program's falling apart in the middle of your tenure at Craters. But when I ask why this is okay, John, you're being unappreciative. I don't think you should be able to go to Notre Dame games because you don't appreciate all Brian Kelly's done for you. Okay. All right. Make it make sense. So if we want to have if we want to have elite standards, I'm with you. But I'm asking for them to be consistent. I'm asking for them to be consistent. I have no problem with high standards. I need them across the board, though. I, I, I just, I can't understand it.